Hey guys, so I have a ton of products that I wanted to share with you and I'm just going to call this my summer favorites because it's summertime and I've been absolutely loving these and they're all kind of geared toward the summer. Um, first things first though, I did get my hair cut. I've been wanting to do this for so long, um, but I got like a long bob and it's just shorter in the back. It, it's like an A-line bob. It's just a little bit longer. And I am absolutely in love with it. I'm so glad I did it. Um, like I said, I've been wanting to do it for a really long time. And I just went to the salon and I was like, let's go for it. So I'm super happy with it. I love just playing with it. My hair was getting so boring. Like there's not much you can do when your hair is like long and all one length. You can curl it. But um, that's about all I was doing. And... I don't know, I just needed a change and I am in love with it. So basically today I just wave, I curled it a little bit. Um, sometimes I wear it straight and it looks really cute, but I'm still experimenting with it and I'm having so much fun with it. So let's move on to my favorite summer products. So I gotta have a nice tan in the summertime. I don't like to spend a lot of time outside in the sun. So of course I use a self tanner and I use a self tanner all year round, but this is the one that I've been loving lately and it's the Saint Tropez. Everyone's heard about this one. It really is a great self tanner and I ran out of the one, my Holy Grail tanner, which is, um, I can't even think of the name right now, but this one has been working amazing and I love it. Okay, next for face products, um, I have been using the Neutrogena Healthy Defense Liquid Moisturizer. This is super thin, it's very liquidy, so it's not super heavy, and I just apply it um, as a moisturizer or over my moisturizer, and it just works great. It's SPF 50, so that's really good. Um, I tend to get like uh, pigmentation like around here and on my forehead a little bit and um, I need to wear sunscreen or it looks like I have a mustache seriously I don't know if anybody else has experienced this but my skin gets really dark right there if I don't put a sunscreen on and it might be due to like the birth control pills that I've been taking um, but it's amazing okay next is a few different foundation combinations that I've been wearing um, I I've been using the Double Wear Foundation. This is the regular Double Wear. I also have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover, which I've been using kind of like as a concealer, or sometimes I even mix it with this if I want like a full coverage. Also, I've been using the MAC Face and Body Foundation, and this is waterproof, so I mix it with other foundations to not only like make it a little bit thinner but also to help keep it on because it is summertime and you perspire and um, it's a little bit hotter out so this helps to keep my makeup in place and basically sometimes I'll mix these two together sometimes I'll mix these two together sometimes I'll mix these two depending on what kind of coverage I need these are the products that I've been using also as a primer I've been trying to not use a primer just to see if it helps my makeup to stay put a little bit longer and I don't know if this is considered a primer but it's an oil control lotion I guess it is if you're using it to prime your skin but it's been working great it keeps me from getting super shiny so I just apply this after my sunscreen before my foundation and it works great okay next I've been loving this kind of actually goes along with my foundations but this is a sponge from Mac sort of like the beauty blender I know that there are several different versions of these but I cannot even tell you how much this makes a difference you just get it really wet squeeze the excess water out and I don't know if you can see my skin but after I apply my foundation I just bounce it over my face it makes your foundation look so flawless and I also even do that after I apply my blush and bronzer and it just makes it look like I have really great skin I don't know um, I'm pretty sure that any type of sponge would work for that but it's just amazing I love it and I don't know I've been missing out on this but I, I absolutely love that okay next for eye primer I've been using the NYX eyeshadow base in white and this kind of just keeps the areas that I hi want highlighted highlighted like underneath my eyebrows inner corner and it really helps to make my eyeshadows pop so that's been working really good and also the eyeshadows that I've been loving um, is basically the combination that I've been wearing for the past month and this is expensive pink and it's like a peachy gold and then I've also been using sable in the crease 
and then um, nylon in the inner corner. And I did do a tutorial not too long ago with using these shades and I love it. And that's what I'm wearing today. And it's just beautiful, perfect for summer. Okay, the eyeliner that I've been wearing for my winged liner is the L'Oreal, let's see, Lacquer Liner. This is awesome. It goes on super wet and it takes a while to dry, but it is the blackest liner and it really stays put, especially in like the warmer weather. I want things that are going to stay put and this just does it. So I've been loving that. And then um, for blushes... This one is the one that I've been using. I bought this recently in a MAC haul and I shared that with you guys in my MAC haul. But it's called Peaches and it's so pretty. I'm wearing this today and it just is the perfect summer peach blush. And then I have been using a little bit of the NYX in Peach. This is actually called Peach but it doesn't look peach at all. It's more of like a pale pink but I just mix a little bit of that on there and it, it just gives the perfect shade. Okay, next for, let's see, I will go into my lip combinations, and there are a few that I've been wearing a lot. Um, the first one is Max Pink Plaid. I use this with Dervish Lip Liner from MAC, and one of you guys, one of my subscribers, told me about this combination. Thank you so much, it's amazing. Um, pink Plaid is kind of like a purpley pink. It's a matte. So I love matte lipsticks and Dervish lip liner is very, very similar to that. Just a tiny bit darker. I just use that to line my lips. So pretty. The next combination is, this is kind of sexy and it's more of like a, it's like a nude, like a pinky brown nude. And I use this with Boldly Bare lip liner which is very, very similar to that shade, but that combination is beautiful. And also, I've been using Myth from MAC. I apply that first, then I use a little bit of the Makeup Forever 15C lip liner, which is a really pretty pink, and then I go over that with um, Max Cream Cup. And that's what I'm actually wearing right now, the combination that I just told you about. I know it's a lot, but you sometimes have to do things to get like the perfect lip color. So this is the combination and I love it. It's amazing. I feel like I have too many products here, but I'm going to keep going. Okay, next for scents. And you have to smell good in the summertime. And I love like beachy scents, um, just scents that make you feel like it's summer. And this is Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder and it smells like summer it smells so good it is like you're in hawaii and then i also use beach from bobby brown and i basically just mix these two together and i feel like i'm always at the beach i love this combination both of these smell amazing on their own but they're also really good together and i always feel like i'm mixing my scents so um i don't know i just like doing that and you can just make the perfect scent okay next for Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about nail products really quick and then I have a couple hair products and then I'll be done. So the first one is the one that I'm wearing right now and this is called Tiffany Imposter. I switch, these three shades that I'm talking about, I've been just switching back and forth from. So um, Tiffany Imposter, super pretty. It's by Finger Paints and you can get this at Sally's. The next one is called Watermelon from Essie. I love this pink, it's like the perfect pink. Um, it's like peachy, pinky, it's beautiful. And then the last one is called Too Taboo, and this is more of like a purpley pink, but it's amazing. I love this. They all look just absolutely amazing. Perfect for summer. And then the last two products are the hair products that I've been loving, and, um, this is just kind of what I've been using with my little beachy wave thing that I have going on. And this is called Glam Waves from Sally Hirschberger. It just gives your hair like texture. Like I like it when my hair feels a little bit texturized. I don't like it when it's super soft and slippery. I have pretty fine hair so this really helps to give like volume and texture. Um, I bought this at Ulta in like the drugstore section, but it works great. And then for hairspray to keep everything in place, I really love the Big Sexy Hair. This is Spray and Play Harder, and I got this at TJ Maxx for $12.99. Super inexpensive there. It's usually like $20, but this 
really keeps your hair wherever you put it. I love it. It's awesome. Okay, so I think that is everything. I hope you guys are having a great summer so far. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.